So there was no professional lacrosse at all? No, there was, but, and that's what I was playing in for 10 years of my career. Uh, my rookie wage was 6,000 bucks. And, uh, and then I was getting paid as the MVP of the league at $1.15,000 for the whole season. Um, so this was during a time too, where we saw the rise of MLS, the rise of UFC, the rise of F1, because prior to, to us really trying to take a, take a big swing at, at building professional lacrosse, there was just a huge moat around pro sports. It was the NFL, the NBA, MLB, uh, MLB, and that was it. And you'd either have to have loads of money to get involved or a network deal. And it was impossible to get a network deal without loads of money. So it, it was just that that's where we were. And so everyone kind of slotted in and tried to pick up the breadcrumbs and then introduce social media and streaming. And that really unveiled the launch of, of emerging leagues. Um, and so we were just sitting at bay as athletes kind of struggling to make ends meet and caring deeply about the sport that we were playing. And there was also Patty, like an, an embarrassing component about being a professional athlete. I mean, and I'm not little. You and I were having a conversation about all the shit that we do like trying to stay fit and then all of that blood, sweat and tears into nothing. Uh, so a lot of that was riding on me for quite a bit of time and um, decided to do something about it. So did you like $15,000 a year doesn't sound like even enough to get by, to be honest. Like, did you have a day job there as well or? I did, I, I uh, for the first eight months, at least my rookie wage was 6,000 bucks and I was playing in major league lacrosse and then I took a job in real estate trying to figure out how to make some additional income. And that just wasn't me. And I was lucky enough early on to be on social media, uh, right at the right at the turn when that began to happen. And this brand Under Armour took a look at it and saw that I was uploading and posting videos. And I, I kind of fancy myself a marketer, uh, second to being an athlete. And so I kind of understood the platform. So they, they gave me an endorsement to basically be this athlete that they could kind of see in a petri dish, even though I was a lacrosse player, what kind of shit I was doing that they could talk about with their footballers and hoopers and things of that nature. That's at least how I viewed it. Cause why the hell would they sign me? Uh, and, and, and they signed me more than for more money, you know, on a multiple than I was getting to play in the league that I was in. So I knew that some writing was on the wall, which was actually figure out social media. And that's when I quit my job and 